Hi. In this video, we will create list page, uh, simple uh, list uh, forms. Uh, let's look at our project, and uh, we we created the data structure, tables, edits, and enums. Now we will create these forms. Uh, the, these uh, five forms uh, are very really simple. We will use a simple list template for them. Uh, duty table and activity table forms are a little bit complicated and we will write uh, more codes for these forms. So first let's create simple ones and after that we will create the complex ones. Okay, let's start with activity expense type. Add new item. Of course, uh, this uh, is user interface form. And okay. Early version, we we had also templates, but when you use templates, uh, templates or uh, templates uh, are automatically creates. Uh, design objects for you, but uh, in uh, Dynamics 365, it's just suggest you you to use these uh, objects. It's not creating automatically, so you should create all the uh, design objects. Uh, when you create a form, you need to set uh, data source first, and uh, for this form, of course, our data source is expense type. And I am drag and drop my uh, table to data source, and it's enough uh, for this one. Now I need to create design. <coughs> Let's look at the properties, and uh, these are the templates. I will use simple list for this uh, type of form. Simple list is actually a simple grid and uh, list of uh, our activity expense type data. So it's, it's not a complicated form. When I uh, apply the template, uh, it will automatically ask uh, design objects uh, from here. It needs an application bar, a custom filter group, and simple list grid. Uh, let's add these items. First of all, uh, an action pane. And in action pane, let's create a button, button group and let's create maybe a new button, but we don't need new button yet. Now let's create a custom uh, filter group. group. Okay. Now Let's create new grid. Okay. Now I created all three needed uh, objects, but uh, their uh, names and uh, properties uh, are not set yet. So let's give proper uh, name. Uh, this is action pane. Now and group okay this is actually filter group okay now it needs a uh, sub pattern let's apply a sub pattern uh, for this one and it needs quick filter okay let's add a quick filter object and it Okay, here. Now it's also ready. And let's give a proper name for this grid. Okay, uh, every uh, object needs a data source, especially grids. Uh, so when you add a grid to form, you need to select proper data source for this uh, grid. Okay. 
Okay, well, they should complete it. Now we uh, we connect our grid to our data source, but we didn't uh, add any fields. So we need to add uh, fields to uh, grid. Let's drag and drop these fields to this one and move outside. Okay. Now our form almost ready. Let's uh, look some properties uh, in design which you need to choose data source also title data source and you need to uh, give uh, a caption uh, this is an activity expense type so let's give a proper uh, name now our form almost ready uh, let's Let's rebuild this one. Okay, build completed. Now we can open uh, the form and we can look at the uh, design, but it's a very simple uh, form and I don't want to uh, spend more time with this. So let's create other form uh, fastly. Uh, now I am adding a new item form. This is duty type. It's a very similar form actually. I need to add uh, duty type data source. Also, uh, I can copy this design element to this one. But uh, when I do that, I need to, of course, delete this one and change property to duty also choose this one and type data source caption okay now it's also ready let's create another one Animals return. Also, I am drag and drop my data source. Also, adding these to design. Again, we delete this one and change data source property. Sorry. And the name also data source and title data source. Okay, let's create another one. Okay, we created these uh, four forms. Let's uh, create last one. I think new form again. Okay, at these design elements.
Okay. And we forget to add these fields. Let's add these fields to grid. Activity ID and type ID. Yes. Okay, let's look at duty. Also, we did add these fields. Okay. For an invoice written, we don't have any ID field because we used rec ID as a foreign key. Now I just add description to uh, form design. Okay. These five forms are ready. We can open and uh, input some new records, etc. But we are using for uh, end user uh, and menu menu items. So I will create menu items for this uh, forms, and after that I will open and uh, enter some data. But first we will create these two uh, tables, and uh, for these uh, sorry forms, and for these forms we need to use a special uh, design elements, uh, some uh, display fields and uh, filters, etc. Uh, so next videos, we will create duty table form and after that we will create activity table form. Forms uh, uh, are very, sometimes can be very complicated, but you should, uh, you should design uh, forms uh, uh, simply because it's important to uh, be user friendly so don't uh, complicate forms and don't uh, put too much code in forms we will talk about that too i hope it helps and happy ducting happy ducting